Hey guys, Marcus here with BlackOvis.com. We are here at ATA 2023. I'm here with Daryl, Velvet Antler Technologies, or VAT as you can see behind us. And they have come out with some really cool products. Now, I've used Velvalock in the past on my mule deer. Just basically right after I shot my mule deer, I soaked that thing down and it did an incredible job. So I'm really interested to see what you guys have this year. Maybe you can walk us through it. Yeah, you bet. So obviously you've mentioned the Velvalock. Um, we do have our next product here that's, that's hide lock is a relatively new one as well. The hide lock will keep a deer hide, elk hide, bear hide from rotting and starting the slipping process, the deterioration process essentially until it gets to your taxidermist. So essentially this is a, a, an, an insurance policy to get you from the field to the taxidermy shop. Same time that came out, our stain scrub came out. Um, this used to be called Velva Scrub. We recently changed the name. People look at Velva Scrub or anything labeled Velva, right? They wanted to associate that yeah. with only velvet. So we kind of had to change it up a little bit and have people understand that it's for everything, not just velvet. So this awesome. is for your backpacks, um, stone sheep, antelope, any of those haired animals that you can't bleach the hair to get the blood out of, yeah. right? So that, that's just an enzymatic blood remover. You spray it on, let it sit. It'll actually attack the proteins and liquefy the blood to be washed away. Awesome. So it keeps it back to normal colors after that. Our Trophy Clean product here, we have, um, this one's been out almost as long as Velvalock. This one, there's numerous bugs that will attack your mounts while they're on the wall after they've been up, right? So we all spend all this money, thousands and thousands of dollars, right, on- Way too much money. Putting stuff on the <laughs> wall, right? We have these beautiful trophies we're so proud of. Yeah. And then we forget about them. We leave them and then one day we go to wipe them down or clean them because we notice they're dusty and the hair's falling out of them. Yes. If there's ever hair falling out of a mount, they've more than likely got a bug in them. So we created this one to be able to have a brush with it and you spray it on, brush it in, the brush will carry all that material down to the hide where those animals live, right? Yep. Those little bugs. And it'll either push them away or it'll kill them, one or the other. If it comes in contact with them, it will kill them. It, it attacks their exoskeleton and it kills them. So, and then you can wipe it down with a towel. The towel will turn black because <laughs> they're everybody's mounts are dirty, I promise you. Oh, yeah, I'm so, sure. So just from being here at the show and the travel, I sprayed this one, just one side of him yesterday just to see what, what we could get. And that's oh man, that's what we got just from point A to point B travel. They're lines, good dust right? collectors, so that's for sure. They are so, and a lot of times those mounts will get almost a greasy substance on them because the natural greases come out of the hair, yep. and that'll stick on the hair side and it'll attract, attract more everything. dust. And then that's really really hard to clean, right? So this is actually will dissolve and encapsulate that to be able to be wiped away. Awesome, so. very cool. And then uh, just this last fall, we had a need. Um, Actually, New Zealand brought it to our attention. They said, man, we do a lot of European mounts out here. We have nothing to do it with, like, and they're very expensive to have taxidermists do them. So we came out and did a lot of testing and we created our Bone Bright product. This has an actual degreaser, spray bottle of degreaser and a spray bottle of whitener. And it comes with two little brushes, one to go into all the little, little cavities so you can get everything white, so you yep. can push it in those cavities, and then another paintbrush type to brush it on evenly after you've sprayed it. So you can either spray it or you can brush it either way. Comes with a towel, after that sits on there a certain amount of time, you wipe it down. Each day you repeat that process until you get the desired whiteness you're looking for. Yeah, that's really so, cool, that's yeah. awesome. So and you can do old mounts or new, so things that have been on the wall, I mean, I'll show everybody, this has been on the wall 16 years, or on a shelf. So that's what it looks like after the fact. So you can take the ones off the wall and redo them yeah, after they've been awesome. up there a while. You don't have to take them back to a taxidermist to do that. So then our newest launch um, just this year, we just came out with this just early, late fall, early January, really actually officially launched it in January, is our fan lock product. That's our fan lock. This fan lock is for doing turkey tails. You can also do the feet and you can do beards with it as well. This turkey fan I had sprayed, I just killed this one. I sprayed this and that's the actual membrane after five days of being sprayed. Leaves no smell, there's no stink, and it's a complete sealed process. Once it's done, it's done forever. I was almost confused so. when I saw it at first because there was no borax residue on it. I was like, <laughs> holy smokes, that looks super clean. So really cool product in my opinion. Yeah, so and it works out good. I mean, we left a lot of material on this just to showcase Right, there's meat, there's yep. the gland is still in there and there's still no smell to this thing. It has no smell at all. So, 
And we also took the feet. So a lot of people, you don't see them cure feet very often, right? But the pads of the feet are totally shrunken. The tissue inside is all sealed and dried. No smell. Yep. So we injected with a small needle into the feet to where they swelled up. And then once that got in there, it totally cured all the meat from the inside. I pinned them out with a piece of wire so that they just stand up on their own. That's and awesome. Sprayed the ex exterior of them and there's our feet all cured out. You know, it's funny how much money we end up spending as hunters to go and hunt and then to put these animals on our wall. But I mean, there's so much that goes in the middle of that. Taking care of the hides, taking care of the antlers, taking care of the fans, the euros. I mean, there's so much that goes into that. And where it's something that we're so passionate about, it's something that we need to be proactive about. Right. And these products are doing exactly that. They're taking care of what we care about. Right, exactly. And that's what, that's what we're here for. And we're always here for the customer as well. If they think they're having troubles or problems or they have an issue with one of our products, we stand behind these 100%. We want to hear from people. If, you know, if they need help with things, we're there to help people too. So. Awesome. Hey, well, thank you, Daryl. If you have any questions, comment below or just give us a call. We're happy to answer anything that you might have. Thanks for tuning in.